Creo 4.0 new extrude feature capabilities. We're going to make a simple extrusion and I'm going to click on extrude and select this face right here and it wants another reference so I'll select over on the side so it has enough references. Close and we're going to go into our 2D view and just make a simple rectangle. Now I didn't put a reference on the top but with the 4.0 you don't need to. Once you select it will create a reference there. Like so. Just a simple shape. Now I'm going to check and it's going to go in this direction right here. So it projects backwards that it went from what I want. I'll, I can flip my arrow and as always I could put my cursor over the top and select a face. But we do have some new capabilities. We have two sides through all and other side. So I'm just going to go to two selected and select here like so. And I'm going to open up my options to take a look at that. One side's blind. And the other side goes up to a surface. Now, if I want this one to go to the surface also, I'll pick two selected and select the surface and it'll go there. Now, the difference is, is that we now have the capability to adjust on both sides. So for instance, if I pick this surface here, selection, I can pull this out to a distance. If I do on the other side, same thing. Pull out the surface. Now on this one here, if I go back and make it blind, it'll go to there. And this distance, I'm going to type in negative 2 and see where it goes. You can see it backs off. And I'm going to undo that one, make it go that direction. You can drag it, flip it. And on this one here, if I go back and I go to a selected surface, I want to do that with both of them. back to my smooth surface here by selecting it and this one on the back. So I've got a, a few new capabilities there. I'll click on it again, edit the definition. And again under options you'll see you have these new options. I'll go and pick blind on both of them. So you can see it extends out. Difference is now I can make them not just symmetric, but I can go up to a surface on each side. And I can also then change that by selecting the angled surface here and then offsetting it. So it's the offset that has become a new option. And you'll see it through here. You've got your normal extrude options, and then you can extrude both of them through all if you're using a cut and then other side and you've got the options for the other side now so this is some of the new <clears throat> capabilities that they have going in 
So a lot of options, a lot more capability, a little more flexibility in your design selections. That concludes this extrusion for 4.0, the some of the interface and capability changes that have been provided.